Hello and hi everyone. Thank you so much for joining in. It is me, Magical Matthias. I hope you're having a magical day. I am going to be doing an unboxing and review of the new Disney limited edition Kita doll. I never thought this day would come that we would get um, a limited edition doll of Kita. I thought that Disney kind of just like forgot her just because like technically she is a Disney princess or queen nonetheless, but we really don't get a lot of merchandise of her. Um, I would love to know why that is. Um, a lot of people haven't even seen the movie in general, and I personally, Kita is my favorite Disney princess. She is so beautiful. I've like been praying that they would make exclusive dolls of her at the parks or something for some time, but no, I don't think that's happening. There's been talks of a live action movie. Have you guys heard about the live? Oh. I just broke my tool. Um, have you guys heard about the live action movie that's coming out? They're saying that like Tom Holland was playing Milo or something. I'm not sure. If you know a little bit about it, let me know. Alrighty y'all, so she's coming out. I love how like Disney does the tissue wrap around it. I think it's so sweet. Let's just like dump her out. That was her shipper. You can already see like the <gasps> Atlantis design. Oh man, I'm excited. Let's see what it says. Disney is proud to present this limited edition Kita doll that brings to life the courageous warrior and princess who's on a quest to protect her underwater city of Atlantis. When Kita spies a group of expeditioners from the land above, she entrusts one of them to help her decipher long forgotten Atlantean writing which is needed to uncover the nature of the heart of Atlantis, a crystal powering the city. A betrayal threatens to bring the destruction. You guys, oh my goodness. Aw. It's like literally the whole movie is written on the back. The betrayal threatens to bring destruction to Atlantis, where Kida must harness the power of the crystal to save all that she loves, designed by the Disney store artist. This limited edition doll invites Disney fans and collectors alike to dive into action-packed adventure with our brave heroine. <gasps> you guys! Okay, so I... The Kita doll that came out, um, like, whenever the movie came out, my grandmother got it for me at Target, which is, like, unheard of because I was not allowed to play with dolls and because she was like an action figure I was allowed to have her so I cherished her and then lost her and so I'm very excited to finally have a new Kita doll so let's let's see her together oh my gosh <gasps> whoa you guys holy cow she's so beautiful are there little Swarovskis? Oh my gosh, they're so extra. I love this. Oh my goodness. And like in the pictures, it kind of looks like she has like no neck. So I'm curious to see what she looks like. You can see like the little masks. Wait, where are they? The little masks that they wear whenever they're like out hunting. Oh. And let's go ahead and open her up. All right, so it says that I think there's 9,600 of them. So that's actually like a kind of, that's large in comparison to what I was expecting because Kita's not that well known of a character except for like Doja Cat is bringing her back. So I'm totally I'm down for that. So there's like the main shell of the box that you have to remove and then let's go ahead and remove this second one. Just the whole fake one. Yeah. Then there's this little shell. So get that one out of the way. And get this one out of the way and let's go into this so here she is wow oh my gosh her bangs are not my favorite but everything else is she wearing shoes now she barefoot because you know she from way down south okay um nice so it feels like the fabric is like an organza, yep, that's like an organza. Here's like a like an affordable chiffon. It's like graphic printed. A little like Mikado or taffeta. She's really well done, you guys. Let me get her out of the box and I will give you my reaction to her, okay? Here she is out of the box. 
Whoa, you guys, I was not expecting this. She's crazy amazing, oh my goodness. Here she is, I love her so much. It feels like some of these outfit pieces might be separate, so I'm gonna let you guys know, um, just because I think this Kita might go on some adventures. But she's got a really cool, I think it's an earring, is it a cuff? It looks like a cuff. Oh no, it's just like a giant earring and mine, I think mine might just be at a weird angle. Yes, it is. So it's just um, a normal earring that dangles down, but it does look amazing. I kind of liked it at that angle, honestly. I thought it worked well with her hair. And then here's her like choppy little situation with her hair, um, the necklace, and then this cape looks like it's a separate piece that's tied. Yeah, so it's just literally tied on. That's that's really weird, honestly. Um, but yeah, you can see, if you turn her around, you can see that the cape is literally out of my shoulder. <laughs> my cape is literally, or the cape is just literally attached to this little ribbon and it's tied around her neck. It's such a strange way to attach that, but it works, I guess, if you don't want to make it. That makes me think that this might also be a separate piece than this. Um, I'm gonna find out actually while we're we're here. So here she is. Let me go ahead and get her off of this stand. The stand is really nice and sturdy, and these dolls are um, compatible to like Robert Tonner dolls. If you guys had any of those, um, they're rather large. But oh my goodness, she is so sturdy! Wow, she's so amazing. Let me remove this cape because this seems to be the thing that's the most constricting at the moment. Where are you attached? Of course. So it's attached under the armpit as well with these little rubber bands. Like they're just tiny little rubber bands. So let's, everything is pretty much attached with rubber bands. That's so aggravating. And this is all one piece of the skirt. So I guess it's not all separate pieces, but this does come off and you can just have her with her armor. And I love that they added this armor. I wonder if you can remove this because that's kind of a lot. You can, so the fur part is separate. So you can just have it as gold if you wanna have it. And she has really nice saran hair. Um, her eyes are really pretty blue. And it almost makes me wonder if they're about to release like a 12 inch version because that would be so amazing. But I'm not like crossing my fingers. I'm just so happy that I have this one. I couldn't, I would never have dreamed that they would have made this. So I'm so happy that they did. Um, and her, her features are really like animated. So like, her feet, they're very giant. Her hands, they're very giant and very animated. And she has that classic like light blue. And if you see, if you look really close, it actually, it's a, it definitely is like a taffeta, I think, because it has an iridescence that goes to like a purple to light blue. Um, then she has little Swarovskis all the way down in that pattern of that organza. This is so detailed. I mean, it's a high price point, but they really did it. I'm so, they did this for the collectors like us who thought that this character really wouldn't get any representation. And it's a high edition size. Mine came with a little certificate of authenticity. And it says that mine is number 793. So um, that's, I mean, out of 9,600. That's a lot of dolls. So there's a good opportunity. She's still out there right now if you're looking for her. Um, definitely, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys excited about having her? Oh, her little face, she's so cute. <laughs> she's so awesome, I'm so excited about her. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Um, do you guys have her already? Are you thinking about getting her? Are you adding her to your wish, wish list this year? Um, oh my gosh, wait, hold on, there's even some more little details, hold on, hold on. So, look, there's like the little masks that they wear in the decals on the armor with little Swarovskis in there. And that's a big Swarovski, look at that. This is so detailed. They really went above and beyond because this is things that even in the animated movie, like there weren't these intricate details. She never wore a gown, you know, but like there weren't even these intricate details on her armor or things like that. So they really went above and beyond and gave the collectors really what they were looking for. Um, let me know how, what you guys think about her though. Is she how you imagined a Kita limited edition doll to look? Is she something that you're gonna want for Christmas this year? Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a magical day. Magical Matthias out.